Hey everybody, Alan Wade back again with another video and I just want to give you guys a quick tutorial on Chroma Lux digitizing software. Just a quick way to uh, do some applique text. Quick and easy if you just want to apply some text to a garment and use applique so you don't have to embroider, use all those stitches in your embroidery, okay? So let's jump into Chroma Lux right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select a text tool right here on the side and I'm just going to click once. And down here, I already have applique letters selected, but down here, um, you'll see all the applique type fonts that are available. You got this one, you got that one, and this is gonna apply to everything. In order to, um, what you gotta understand though about these applique fonts is, even though they say applique on it, they only say applique on it because there's no stitch in the middle. You, you get what I'm saying? It only says, let me, hold on, let me focus, put this right here, that's how you navigate the center. It only says applique because there's no center, there's no uh, stitches in the middle. It's not really conducive to uh, for the placement and the tack down stitch. And in order to understand applique, you have to understand applique, it's kind of redundant, right? So applique, what you're doing is you are replacing somewhere where there's a whole bunch of stitches with a fabric, a fill that's gonna take the place of where those stitches would be. And you have to put that fabric in the correct place. That's why when I do applique, when I first started, I would do a placement stitch, and the placement stitch is a running stitch. It shows me where to place my fabric. And then after I place my fabric down, after the placement stitch has been completed, I place my fabric down on the placement stitch, and then the machine sticks that puts down a tack down stitch, which is a tack down stitch. It tacks down the fabric, which is another running stitch, right? So two running stitches and then your embroidery, right? After the placement stitch, which is the second stitch, you got your, you got your, no, you have to tack down stitch, which is the second stitch. You got your placement stitch, tells you where to place the fabric, place, uh, stitch it out, place the fabric down. Then you got the tack down stitch. It tacks down your fabric, it stops. Then you cut out the excess, cut out the excess material, right? Cut it out, and then you put it back on, and then you press start on your machine, and then it embroiders the whole thing, okay? Now, these fonts right here do not have the placement and the tack down stitch. That's why you have to understand applique in order to understand what you're using in, in, in the software right here. So as of right now, if I just use this letter, if I go to look at it, it's, yeah, I see, I see two stitches, but ultimately that's still just embroidering one letter. When you put it in the computer, when you put it on your machine, it's not going to do what you think an applique would do, right? So let me show you how you get it to do what you want an applique to do, right? Because um, some people have this confused right here. All right, so you know, sometimes you just have to be, have a little patience with yourself and figure things out. All right, so I select this text right here, and so let me go to type my name out, A-L-L-A-N. Look at me, I'm spelling. Awesome. All right, so boom, we got our name right here. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to copy and paste, copy, paste. Now I got two of them right here. One's on top of the other when I pasted it. So if I slide this down right here, you can see the second one that I created, and it's the same exact thing as the first one. But Alan, that is not a placement stitch, that's a satin stitch. Now I'm going to convert this one into a placement stitch. If you don't have a copy of Chroma Lux and you'd like to use it, play with it, you can use my Rakoma shop link in the description down below, the Rakoma shop link in the description down below to get a free trial of Chroma Lux. Just fill out the form, um, talk to an agent, they'll send you a free trial of it. And if at the end of the free trial you like it, you can purchase it. If you don't, then don't. You know what I mean? The only thing you can't do in a free trial is you can't export the file to test it, but you can play with the software, follow along with this video, and see what's going on, see if you like it, and go from there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on it. I double click for my Mac, because I do stuff with my keyboard. And what I do is I break up the text. Now when you break up the text, you see what happened? It broke up the text. Holy smokes, this, is, this stuff is scientific. So no, no, it just broke up the text right here, which means each individual letter is its own letter, right? 
um, so it's not like grouped together anymore. So I select all. Let me see if I can do it like this. I'm going to go like this, right? And right now, wait a minute, where'd my, where'd my other L go? Okay, I hit it. Okay, boom, there it is. Sorry. So now I'm going to select everything, right? Select everything. And then I'm going to uh, right, left click again, then convert to, convert to running stitch. Now what that did was that converted in, it into my placement stitch, right? And guess what I'm gonna do? Now I'm gonna do my tack down stitch. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight all of this again. Before I copy and paste it, I'm gonna group it all together, right? Because as of right now, they're individuals, right? They're individuals. So now I take all of this and I uh, group it together. So there's one thing and now copy paste. Now I got my placement stitch and my tack down stitch and I have my applique design. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this step a step further because the machine, if we keep this all one color, see this is where understanding applique comes in. If we keep this all one color, what's going to happen is the machine is going to see one color and it's not going to stop. It's going to keep on going and it's going to embroider a placement stitch, not stop embroider tack down stitch, not stop embroider the, the, the embroidery design, not stop because you're not telling it to do anything, right? So what I like to do, it's kind of redundant. No, it's not redundant because in the machine, if it's just one color, you're going to load one color and it's not going to, you're not going to be able to assign a stop to that color. In order to assign a stop, the placement stitch and the tack down stitch has to be a different color than the uh, um, embroidery stitch. Does that make sense to you? So on the machine, you assign colors, right? If, if this whole design placement, tack down stitch, and the uh, running, the, and the embroidery was the same color, you would go, you put the uh, file in your machine, and you'd only have to select one color. So how do I tell it to stop at the placement stitch? How do I tell it to stop at the tack down stitch? Both of those have to be a different color. They have, you have to have three different colors on this design. So let's jump into software right here. I'm going to convert this to one color, right? I'm going to select this right here. I'm going to convert that to another color. All right, so now everything is, let me just do so something we can see, convert that to another color. Now everything is a different color, right? So now when I put this in my machine, oh, we got to go a step further. I'm not done yet. Okay, so now we have to put this in order, right? So you want the placement and the tack down stitch before the, before the, set, before the uh, uh, satin stitch, right? So now you have to change the order. You have to make sure that that goes after that, all right? So you got placement tack down and embroider the applique. All right, so now I select everything, all right? Got everything selected and I center everything to bring it all together, all right? Now everything is brought all together. Now I can export the .dst file. So I would go boom, save as, and then I would change the extension to .dst and name it something and put this, this is my client's folders right here, key to green, see, on my, on, my, on my thing, I have different client folders and stuff like that, but anyway, um, yeah, so I would export that as a .dst file, put it on my flash drive, put it in the machine, and once I uh, put it on the machine, select it, then I'm gonna assign colors to the placement stitch, the tack down stitch, and then the final design, which is the main color, is gonna show, right, as the outline. But on my placement stitch, I would, put a, I would put stop on there. And then my tack down stitch, I would put stop on there. And then it would embroider the rest of the design. Or, or I could put frame out, frame out, which is the F button, right? It's the, um, up top where the threads are. You select the, you select the number and then you um, assign the frame out. The frame out is the button that looks like the frame is coming out. Um, yeah, I hope you guys get that. I hope I don't got to show you guys that. But I just want to show you guys how to create an app, a simple applique text design because this is something quick and easy that you can do to get some letters onto a shirt. It won't take too long and it'll look pretty cool because you're using fabric in between where that white blank space is, you're using a fabric. Now there's some other things that I would do to this, like what I would do to it, the text, for example, the user airbook somebody airdrop something to me. 
using a MacBook Air would like to share shipping label. No, I'm sorry, you uh, sent that to the wrong computer, sir or ma'am. So this main file right here, I would increase the density, right? So right here, I would, um, let me look for it right here, satin stitch, applique with. What I like to do so my applique is nice and thick, let me see if I put it on four, it's gonna thicken up. Yeah, made that a little thicker. Oh, my battery's about to die. And then the other thing I would do is I would increase the density. Let me search around really fast, guys. Line spacing. How do you increase the density on this? Jeez. See, the applique stitch is a little bit different than everything else. Applique density, there it is. So, so I would reduce this number right here to give it more fill. Now watch right here and watch what happens when I reduce this number. I will put it on like a 32, 32, right? See how that made it nice and thicker, all right? And I would add some space between there. Um, stitch length, density. Uh, okay, I think I should have did that first. Okay, line spacing. All right, no, this is uh, text spacing. Let me see if I put a 10 on there, what happens? All right, see it spaced out that, but it didn't space out this. Um, and I don't think it's gonna do the group. But okay, so do the space thing before you start messing with everything, before you um, copy and paste, do the space that out and everything before you do that, okay? So as of right now, yeah, I'd have to redo the whole thing over, but make sure you add that spacing in between your text because as of right now, they're all jetted together and it's gonna be kind of hard to cut down after you do the frame out on the tack down stitch, all right? so. Just a quick video. I'm not gonna get on a machine and show you guys how to do the frame out and all that stuff. I got other videos on that, but if you guys specifically wanna know how to do that, I guess I'll make another video and show you how to do that, but I just want to make this video real fast because I thought it would be helpful and um, you know, thought it would be helpful. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. I hope you guys are enjoying the frequency of the videos. Let me know if you are. If you're not, then let me know if I should slow down a little bit. Um, let me know what you guys wanna see next. Um, I got something by, right behind the camera. I've just gotten a mail. Well, it just got delivered. Um, I left an Instagram short, I mean a YouTube short. So let me know if you can guess what that is in the comments down below. Talk to you guys later, peace. Turn up that, crank it up. Why listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best, baby?